It's 900 metres then for a very fast opening lap. Big Cup desperately trying to move up through the centre, but if anything, lost a couple of positions there and finds himself about three quarters of the way down. This is the Belgian de Froidement in the National Classic jersey, the blue with the Belgian flag on. Finished building it in the late 1950s. It's going to be in Watford, a crowd of around 42,000 on New Year's Day to watch the downhill just 10 years ago. To watch for the Cobbles for the first time. Thanks to stop and enjoy the viewers. Pendles at the top, Schwarzbar second, Colombo third, Vishnik Lidscher, then only his third mountain bike race of the year. He's played to run two for the moment. One in Albstadt, and it's pretty good going. There he is, left inside, just making a move to stay with his front group. Italy. Trying to move up and try to insta get a bit of a chase here. Found some space somehow to get past Carstensen. Not wanting to let the Frenchman get away. It's he who's closing the gap now. Josh Hugo in front. Tom Pitko chasing. That lead that was developed and extended through the start finish line. And it's effectively been closed before we really get started seriously on this lap number four. But here is Pitcock. And there wasn't much room here, but somehow there was a way through. Pitcock makes an acceleration, not able to shed too many behind. Koretsky's on his wheel, Colombo's managed to fight across. It's Pitcock at the front of a top, top trio here. Crossfield and Road, and well, this is turning into quite the performance from Pitcock. Through Fredis playground they go again. Pitcock's acceleration there now has forced the gap. Koretsky starting to lose the wheel. And that meant that Colombo has been able to try and get there in the chase. Just a few weeks ago. The Alps are in the distance. It's on the biggest mountain in the city. But Pitcock have climbed it eight times in total by the end of this race. Snaking up the Munich Mamba. That's the difference on the course. Pitcock halfway up the hill, the others only begin. This is the hardest climb on the course, taken on for the last time. He's making this Munich Mamba twisty turny climb look easy. I can promise you it isn't. Double digit gradients, slippy gravel under the tires, and it's Carstensen now who's looking for two silvers in as many years. Ames. And the action and the entertainment is coming from the next summer. And now mountain biking in Munich. Thomas Pidcock, a born bike rider, and he's riding away to make history. Up one final ramp, over the line, and Tom Pidcock is the first ever men's European champion in cross-country mountain biking from Great Britain. Perfection from Pitcock. The crossover star rides home to another win. He's only ridden three times this season on the mountain bike. Each time, nobody able to stop him. So it's Carstensen who's going to take the silver. Colombo there to take the bronze. First time in ten years that there's no Swiss in first or second. They do make the podium. But Tom Pitcock...